Let's find the solution for problem 32 in Siegel's biochemical calculation. So it asks uh, what are the concentration of ammonia and ammonium chloride in a 0.15 molar ammonium buffer, pH 9.6. Again, concentration of uh, ammonia and ammonium chloride. And the buffer is 0.15 molar. And it gives also the pH of the buffer. Quote unquote ammonium buffer. pH 9.6. So the KB is also given directly in the problems, 1.8 10 to the power of negative 5. So this is obviously a buffer problem. So first of all, uh, the pH is 9.6. So therefore, the pOH is 4.4. The KB is given here, therefore the PKB is going to be minus log of 1.8 10 to the power of negative 5. That would give the PKB of 4.74. Could be given, but the, they gave just the KB. Okay, so uh, we write the equation there. That's the ammonia with water in equilibrium with uh, NH NH four plus plus of hydroxide. In case of acids, it's okay to remove the water, but in case of base, it's always more convenient to have water written there. Then we have the POH, this Henderson Hauser-Barth equation, uh, POH equal PKB plus log of the conjugate S, which is here NH4 plus, divided by the concentration of the base, that's NH3. So we have everything, we have the POH, we have PKB. Uh, now we can calculate the ratio of these two. 4.4 equal 4.76 plus log of the concentration of NH4 divided by NH3. Sorry, I wrote up, up the PKA, but I, I meant PKB. Okay, so now we have this uh, equation here, and we can get the concentration, the ratio of NH4 to NH3. So the log of the concentration of NH4 plus divided by the concentration of NH3, ammonia divided by the concentration of ammonia, equals 4.4 minus 4.74. So from here we can say that the concentration of ammonia divided by the concentration of ammonia, ammonium, NH4 divided by ammonia, is 10 to the power of 
this difference there that's minus 0.34 that's the difference in here minus 0.34 Okay, so that's 10 to the power of minus 0.34. Uh, and the 10 to the power of minus 0.34, plug in the vacuum calculator, gives 0 0.46. Once you have that, you have the ratio between the concentration of ammonia, H4, over the concentration of ammonia in H3 in this buffer solution at this given pH. Okay, 0 0.46 is this ratio here. Now we can say that the concentration of ammonia in H4 plus equals 0 0.46 the concentration of ammonia in H3. All right? And another important thing to keep in mind is that when we give the concentration of the buffer, it's all the species. For example, in here, this buffer is ammonia and ammonia. And they all together make 0.15 because that's the, the concentration of the buffer. So let me highlight this with a different color to stress the point that when we say 0.14 molar, Ammonia doesn't necessarily mean the concentration of ammonia. Concentration of all species relate to ammonia. In this case, the ammonia in H4 and ammonia in H3. Okay, so now we have two equations and the two are known. 0.46 equal NH4. So I can plug in NH4, substitute that with 0.46 concentration of NH3. In the blue equation, I'm substituting, okay? Plus NH3, concentration of NH3, equals 0 0.15. Uh, it's altogether 1.46 ammonia, right? Equals 0 0.15. From there, I can take the concentration of ammonia, and that's going to be 0 0.15 divided by 1.46. Ammonia is going to be 0 0.15 divided by 146. So this gives us uh, 0 0.103. Zero 0.103 molar. And the concentration of ammonium, therefore, uh, as based on the other equation, the red one, is going to be 0 0.46 of ammonia, right? So 0 0.46 times the concentration of ammonia, that's now 0 0.103. So we have finally the concentration of ammonia in H4 plus is 0 0.04. 4, 7 molar. Okay? That's how we approach this problem of the buffer and calculate the concentration of this species in both.